my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plus size haul and also the video after this you'll see will be the teenagers haul. Um, before I've done the video where they were both in the in the one one but I think when you're looking in the search bar you're not going to actually type in um, plus size haul Primark and teenager haul Primark you know so this is going to be a kind of a double one. I'm going to start first with the plus size which I think I've already said. Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Today I am doing a plus size haul and if you watch my video after this I'll also be doing the um, teenager haul which will be range from sizes extra small to small from Primark. Did I say Primark? I can't remember. Um, my glasses are a bit streaky as well so I'm just going to take them off and you can see my where I have had suntan and it does not reach where my glasses are. And I thought I'd do it downstairs for a change because number one, my daughter's in bed, don't want to wake her up, she'll hear me talking. And number two, it's nice and summery outside, so I'll have a bit of the sunshine coming in. And I'm doing this just before I have work, so I've got my cup of tea as well. Have a bit. Right. Now, the first item. I got a lot of these items because I've got my birthday coming up at the end of the month. 30th of June and I'm going to be 50. <laughs> so I bought these things with that in mind but I also picked up some other stuff. So for my outfit I'm going to be wearing the green Primark dress which I've shown you in my last Primark. No, in my last um, haul which had um, the eBay items in it and I've shown you my dress at the end of it. I'm going to be wearing that for my birthday. So I'm going to go out for cocktails. Can't wait. First item is this handbag. Because I'm going to be wearing the green dress, obviously I, I love the black ones of these, the, the square ones, but it's not going to go. So I had to get this. And also my daughter wanted it, so we kind of done a deal. But I'll use it for my birthday, and then afterwards she can have it. Because really I want the black one, but this is going to match my outfit. So it's a bit kind of delicate. So when you open it... It's got a little pocket inside and it's quite roomy. You better fit your mobile phone and your purse and makeup in this easily. Um, but I've just realised the tag's not on it. I think my daughter took the tag off. Now, I think this is £8. I'm going to double check that and if it's wrong, I will put it at the bottom of the screen. But I'm sure this was £8. Or was it 6 Gosh, I'm sure it was 8 but yeah, you've, they've got the square ones of these as well in black and they've also got a square one which is this with um, a lot of the brown on the front of the bag. So that's the first item. Let's put this over here. You have to excuse me if Bailey comes in on view as well because my dog's down here. I've also bought these trainers to wear with the dress because I can't wear heels because I have arthritis in my legs so there's no way I can wear heels so I needed to get some nice decent trainers that I can wear. I'm hoping these fit me because I'm it's a size four. And uh, normally I'm a size four, but if not, I'll just get my daughter to pick up some others. If she goes right, this is um, eight pound. This item, and these I was going to get the canvas one, but these are kind of the leather feel ones because I just thought they look a bit posher with the dress. And I've got a slight little black mark there, but I'll be able to get that off with a bit of. Um, the pink stuff will vanish or something but yeah that's how i'm hoping these fit i bought these saturday which was about one two three days ago and i haven't tried them on yet because i've been waiting to do my haul so that's the trainers then i also got oh i've got my receipt i can tell you how much the handbag was classic camera oh it's six pound it was six pound bag. That's even better. Great. Six pound. Keep that receipt for that. Right. I also got this in a size um, extra large because I'm kind of in size 18 in tops because I'm not bust. But I've got a black one of these and I love the way it looked on me. It kind of hides the tummy area, this does. So um, I really wanted a white one, but then I never know the colours except for this. So I thought I'll try it. I'm not sure if it's going to suit me. But for £5, it is pretty cool for hiding imperfections. So that's that. 
this is the t-shirt as you can see it is quite a bit see-through so i don't think this is very good um to wear in particular places like for work or whatever because it's quite see-through but the gathers are good i suppose with a white bra nude bra it'll be okay hello Bayla. please come to see me i can't see him but i can see him next one Let's just have a drink of my drink. I bought these now. These never stay on with me, but I want to try them. Um, false nails, two pound. I watched somebody else on YouTube. I can't think YouTube. I can't think of a name at the moment. A plus size lady. If I remember, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen and tag her. Um, and she showed me a load of nail varnish and Primark, and I loved them. The ones she originally did have on her nails, they didn't have, which was like a marble pink effect. But I seen these. I thought these were lovely with my dress i'm gonna try them some people use nail glue some people use like a super glue i don't know i'm just hoping they stay on because i'm gonna have a bit it will be pretty rubbish night to keep falling on next item is some foam control briefs don't really want to show these but the one reason why i did want to show them is because it's got no visible panty line on them so they would be perfect under leggings and things so that's them they were six pound and unfortunately they're in an extra large as well next one is some shoes i've got to wear basically for work because the other ones have got had it and I need these to wear with leggings. Um, these are six pound in a size four. I'm hoping these fit as well. And they feel comfortable enough. But that's them. Might wear these today for work, actually. Try them out. Yep, that's them. Oh, I'm going to put them on the wrong side. Next item is vest top this is also in an extra large although some of the extra larges primark are too large for me um so i could get away with a large which is the 14 to 16 um size but some items i do want to be a bit baggier um because i need them obviously again for work to put over vest tops with leggings and things now this was extra large and this is five pound they also had that, this in the black and a khaki, and I'm sure they had another colour. I think they had a pinkish colour, but they didn't have it in my size. So I've got the white. It's got a slit at the back like that. Um, I will be showing these items as well. After, after I've shown every item, I'll show you what it looks like on. You probably noticed that by now because you've seen four items. Duh. I have to keep the leggings on because wait, I'm not going to really change again. But as you can see, this is see-through as well. So with um, a vest top on underneath, it'll be fine. Or even if you're wearing a sports bra, um, you can put it on. And it's got the, if I can find it, it's got the slit at the back as well. So I wonder if you could like, actually style up and tie a knot in that at the back. Hmm, it's very good. But that's the the top and it is so see-through next item is these capri pants i did want the black on prime up so these come up to your calves um but they only have this color so i thought i'll chance it it'll go with some things it's nice cooler color for the summer these are two pound fifty did i tell you what the price? yes i did these are two pound fifty um extra large again so it's I hope these fit all right. As you can see, the leggings far too loose, and this is an extra large, so I'm so pleased that I can actually go down and get the smaller size because these are massive. But once again, I've got to try and find the receipt. But yeah, look, they're just massive. I normally used to always get my um, leggings from Select, but the Select in Leicester, where I'm from, um, is closed down so and we used to be one in also Melton Mowbray I think but that's closed down as well and I do miss them leggings were such good quality so I keep trying the Primark ones and my last item is now I told you I got the green dress didn't I 
Well, they also had this dress as well. Same style, but in this colour. Now, my daughter did say it's a bit of a granny colour, but I am a grandma. So. And I think it's a nice, pretty colour. Brings a bit of colour to my cheeks. I, I didn't know what size I bought with my last one. I'm hoping I did buy an 18 and it was an extra large because... I had to be buy it in this size and this is £13 so I'll show you what that looks like compared to the green and probably you could let me know in the comments if you prefer the green on me or the red I'll say thank you in case anybody actually comments <laughs> right this is the red dress which is the same as the green one if you can see I realise the green one is a size 16 and this is an 18 and it does look a bit big so i might have to put a belt on with this so let me just get my belt this is an elasticated belt that i've got from primark so i'm trying to accentuate a waist with a big size dress because i honestly cannot be bothered to go back to primark to take it back and I'm going to have to take this off somehow. <sighs> Do you know, nothing goes right when you're making a video. So you could put a belt on with it, so it makes it look like you've got a waist. Might have to put it there. So you can kind of slim it down a bit so it doesn't look so big like you've got the wrong size so yes if i found the receipt i'll probably be take it back but i haven't got a clue where i put the receipt and it's not really very good having the size the dress that's too big for you is it really it's not encouraging you to lose weight and it don't go with my hair now but besides that i love these dresses they're beautiful thank you to the people that do comment and watch my videos actually um, because I really do appreciate it because I, I nearly gave up hope this year and I wasn't going to carry on doing my videos because um, I lost a bit of my motivation and I've been struggling with all the lockdown stuff and things going on at home. Um, so I wasn't going to carry on doing it. So I do really appreciate the people that do watch my videos and do comment. Thank you so much. It does mean a hell of a lot. And it's kept me going. And hopefully in summer holidays when I'm not at work. I'll be able to get some more videos going. I would like to do some fun ones with my daughter, but my daughter won't, don't want to be showing on the video. Let's see if some other family member will do it with me. Right, I'm babbling on again. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's only a few items, so it's not some massive haul, um, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all very soon for my next video, which will be the teen hall. See you soon. Bye. Look at that mess I've got. <laughs>